Okay guys, we are going to make a PvE server that you can play with your community on a dedicated uh, box or maybe uh, a server on your computer. Uh, it's going to have about 38 mods on it, but if none of this looks familiar to you, what I want you to do is I want you to go up in the corner and I want you to watch the original video. Otherwise, I want you to click on the link and come here. This is GitHub and uh, this is a readme file and basically it holds the server JSON. It has a little bit of a description for you here just so that you know that you're on the right page and then just at the bottom of the page here is the JSON code. Okay, and it has around 38 mods right here. Now make sure that when you copy this over, this is really important, when you copy it over, you are going to need to go and check all the versions of those mods, all 38 of them, to make sure that you have the most up-to-date. So I want you to copy it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our server folders and subfolders like we did in the last video, okay? So now you're starting to understand why we called the folder config. So let's jump into Armory Forger server. Okay, and then we got configs. Okay, and this is why we call it configs because now we have two configs and I want you to make this file. So new text file. And then I want you to rename it to this. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to edit the server.bat file so that we don't forget to do it later. So what we want to do now is you'll know that we have the server.json. So let's change this now to the actual name of the new config file, which is the uh, this one here. So there we go. So there's our vanilla PVE. Make sure we save it. Okay, so that's ready to go now when we want to use it. So let's go back into here and now we want to open this. And like I was saying in the original video, I feel more comfortable using an actual editor. So again, guys, copy. Okay, I'm showing you this again. I've already showed you, but let's show you anyway. We drop it in here. We just go paste. And now what we have is we have all of our uh, mods and all this. So what we want to do first is we want to make sure that we change the game mode. Okay. So make sure that this is correct. Okay. So throw in your admins if you need it. Okay. You can throw in your admins, but we're not going to use any admins. So we're just going to leave it empty. Make sure you throw in a password if you need it. Make sure that you change the name of your game. Make sure that you throw in your public and then your private uh, IPs into the correct places. Remember guys, this is all available in the last video. If you need to just jump into your old config file and copy it all over. And then of course we have all these mods. And like I was saying, we've got to make sure that the versions for each of these mods is up to date. So if we run this now, So the first thing when you have this all filled out and you run the server, one thing is going to happen is that it's going to do this. And what this is, is this is your server downloading the mods. Now it could take a long time and you can monitor this because the percentage of, of how much is done is right there letting you know on screen. All right. So once it's done, the server will continue to load up and then it will hang like it did last time. And then it will have this. This means that the server is running and the mod that controls the direction of assault has picked the first point for you to attack. So from here, you just want to load in and then play it, check the game. Make sure that it's working. Okay, so we look for our, there it is. Okay, you can see here that uh, all of my mods are, um, need to go back. So we're just gonna jump in. Okay, we're gonna jump into my dedicated server. 
and I'll show you what it's like when it's working. You can also make this file. This is really important is I'm going to show you next how to be able to make a server message. So hang about for that. Okay. So now that we load it in, you can see just uh, there that you can, the mod has picked our next objective, which is Tulsa and it's working. So, okay guys, some of the mods. Uh, ace carrying. Ace carrying allows you to pick up uh, your teammates and carry them to safety when they're unconscious. Ace chopping allows you to use the shovel to pull down trees. This good old ace medical. This is from armor three. Ace finger allows you to point. Ace trenches allows you to use the shovel to dig a trench. Ace compass uh, allows you to have a compass in the middle bottom of your screen so you can see where you're going. Ace Core is uh, improvements to the game. Uh, Ace originally comes from Armor 3. And then the famous Bacon Loadout Editor, which is very important. Uh, it allows you to save your loadout in game. And every time you come back to the server, you'll be able to access that loadout. It's a very important part of PVE and PVP for Armor Reforger. And it's probably one of the best mods you can get. This uh, is a bandage patch. This is a life mod. A better sounds. Coalition Squad interface allows you to have... Uh, your squad on the screen right next to your compass. Scoring system allows you to see how much people you've killed. Okay, disable friendly fire is one of the most important ones in the game. It stops people from griefing in your game. Got a couple of Humvee uh, variants here. And then keep your gun when uncon. So that fixes that problem. And this is also very important for griefing is the linear uh, conflict PVE. It allows you to focus on a single point rather than having people running all over the map trying to activate points this will help with your server performance as well okay guys so now i'm going to show you how to be able to find your uh, server admin config uh, json so that you can make your server message so it is found in my documents you need to find my games and then you need to go armor reforger profile and then it's in here it's so normally there it is. So you want to open it up. Okay. And it looks like this and it's terrible. I know. So what to do is, and it's going to do, it's going to look like this every time you come in, if you're executing it on your own computer, if you have a dedicated server that you're renting, this doesn't happen. But when you're making your own at home using the Steam Armory um, Forger server, it will constantly do this. So what you want to do now is like try and make it a little bit more readable for yourself. So just start finding commas and uh, pressing enter basically. So just, uh, it's a bit of a pain, but uh, you, you're going to need to make it look good. So by the power of editing, I'm going to skip this part for you. Okay guys, I'm pretty close to the end, but I want to show you what it will do uh, until they fix this. Maybe they'll fix it by the time you're doing it, but... I'll give you a demonstration now of what I mean. So if we double click, if we just run the server, so we just run the server. And then if we come back and open this up again, you'll see that it's just defaulted straight back to this one line. So it's quite frustrating, but you just have to deal with it. And so just quickly bring it down into a readable format like this, where you can just see where things are different. Okay. So the first part, it's for admins and bands, so admins and then um, band players. Okay, and you know, you can leave this empty. It's not important and stuff like that. But one thing uh, that really is important is the repeated chat messages, okay? And this allows you to talk to your players in game. So every however many minutes. So this one has an interval at the moment of 15 minutes. Okay, so the next one here is a schedule chat message and you can set timers. So this one here is for midnight and you can see the example message says example midnight message and then it will basically print that to screen at midnight. But you can also change that so that it's 12 o'clock and you can say that it'll soon change. So this is your server message. This is the message that you see when you first enter, okay? And you can also put your Discord link here so that it clicks in the business uh, into the button that's on there and you can use uh, html to design your page so you can see here that this is using html and things like that but you can also just 
use this. Okay, write yourself a very basic message that's saying, hello, these are the rules, click here to go into the game. Well, you don't have to write that, but, but you know, you, you can check out and even ask ChatGPT to give you other examples. And the link here is actually a button that will go to your Discord. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is make sure that it's saved. Okay, and then when we go into the game now, it will actually work.